going to be a very quick and dirty one. So this is the inside of the ignition lock from a 2000-ish in Master 626. And uh, it has issues where it will not start. Uh, if you rattle the key around and just monger it around, it might start sometimes, but for the most part it just refuses to engage the starter at all. And as you can see, we've got a huge hole in this connector here. This uh, spins around and connects to these uh, copper studs in the ignition lock. It likes uh, yeah. Like so, spinning around. Uh, so this is obviously shot, it should be replaced. The car is not worth having this replaced, so I'm going to fix it. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to grind away a piece of this and uh, just solder in a piece of copper wire instead and grind that down to fit the profile. It's going to be ugly, it's going to be not very reliable, but the car just needs to last for about a week. So <laughs> let's get at it. Right, if I can see, I grind off the a ruined part, so now I'm just going to tin this and solder in a piece of copper wire then grind that down and we'll be done. Uh, a couple of wire ready to be soldered, clamped down. Just gonna have to try and not solder my alligator clamps as well. And it's soldered in place so all I've got to do is grind off the excess and we should be ready to go. There we have the final result. Uh, it took about two minutes of soldering, five minutes of grinding and it is now reasonably protruding up again. We no longer have a giant hole where it's supposed to make contact, so I'm rather hopeful this might actually work. We'll have to see. I might have to grind it down a bit more if it doesn't turn properly, but uh, contact-wise and durability-wise, I think this should last probably quite a bit longer than it has to. I got a fair amount of solder in there, since I didn't grind all of the old stuff out and we actually have a solder joint going all the way around the piece of copper wire so let's go to the car see if it works all right the moment of truth here's the uh, part i've fixed i just it uh, for one screw one snap lock i've reinstalled it so the symptom of this vehicle was that uh, it would click a relay somewhere over there when you try to engage the starter and the starter would not engage uh, sometimes after considerable dicking around with a key it could go like <coughs> make a rat horrible rattling noise and sometimes even launch the engine turning backwards due to it. So, uh, as to hoping, let's give it a go. Look at that. Perfect. Oh god. Light touch. Beautiful. That's a 20 minute fix. Uh, for replacing a part that's probably rather expensive if you can even get it. Thank you for watching, cheerio. Oh yeah, this vehicle has a slight engine issue. <laughs> it's a bit smoky.